Tun Kin is president of the Burmese Rohingya Organization UK, which has been a leading voice for Rohingya people around the world. He's briefed global officials on the genocide committed against Rohingya populations and joins us now from London. Really good to have you with us. We know that the Rohingya uh, for decades were seen as people who weren't uh, native to Myanmar. They've been denied citizenship for all these years and now it seems the junta is looking to recruit them to fight in its army, luring them with promises of food and even uh, identification to make them official residents of Myanmar. What's your reaction to this apparent forced conscription? Um, thank you so much for having me here. This is very clear and first thing is th this uh, military the genocide against Rohingya community. We've been facing persecution since 1962 under this military regime. There is no such honest or sincere. This is just to use Rohingya as a human shield when they fight against Arkhan army. This is another thing is create violence between Rohingya and our sister community Rakhine because we have been living side by side with Rakhine and other communities in our kind of state. This is how military they want to exploit the situation much more and this is a kind of way that forcefully recruiting Rohingyas is just a genocide against Rohingya. You know, on top of that, this military kills as you all know, 2017, thousands of Rohingya were killed in Arkhan state and thousands of Rohingya women were raped and 390 villages were burned down by this military. So this military regime is clearly using Rohingya as a human shield. We receiving information that some many recruited Ro uh, Rohingya soldiers forcefully recruited by Burmese military. They were killed by battlefield as they used human shield last few days ago. So we are in the middle of um, the fight again, uh, you know, where Burmese military and Arkhan army is fighting. And the other side, military is pushing much more pressure in Rohingya community to fight against Arkhan army. This is to create violence between the two communities where we are uh, we are living side by side. Again, we want to live peacefully in our kind of state. We are peace loving pe people. We stick on our peaceful coexistence principle. This is what military trying to exploit all our peaceful life in our kind of state. Military is command enemy for everyone in Burma, including Rohingya, Rakhine, and all the people of Burma. This is what we condemn what military is trying to do. International community has to do much more on this. We have been seeing international community is silent, totally silent. So many people were recruited, including Rohingyas. And of course, Rohingya people are, should be, you know, protected under uh, um, International Court of Justice provisional measures. Instead, we cannot see that any action from international community. That's why we're pushing UK government to hold a security council a meeting immediately to pressure Burmese military to stop this re yes. recruitment again, all the people of Burma. This is war crimes committing, crimes against humanity and genocide. Not only Rohingya, all the people in Burma, other side of Burma, they are very scary situation, worrying what will happen, they never know. Okay, so can I ask, you mentioned the Arakan army in Rakhine state, which is just one of the groups fighting uh, the Myanmar junta. There are a, a couple of other significant uh, armed groups that are also fighting forces there. Do you believe the junta is losing control in some key locations of the country? Definitely. The junta is losing the control. That's why this, uh, this uh, you know, uh, conscription is going on. The military has never been under pressure like this before. More and more, the country is being freed from military occupation. We can say the, for the first time that the military is losing and are now so desperate that they have brought uh, in conscription. It is not just a sign of desperation. It is also a big tactical mistake as people who were trying to avoid politics and just 
get on with their lives are now being dragged into the struggle. Where people in the cities were largely just trying to get on with their lives, now they are impacted and now they are scared and angry. The wealthier and the better educated people are leaving the country, others are trying to hide, do know what to do. Rich people can bribe their way out of being conscripted. There is already an economic impact with shops and factories losing workers. So, <clears throat> you know, what we can see is also in ethnic state, you can see attack just because of your ethnicity and religion. But in the big cities like Yangon and Mandalay, if you stay out of politics, you can mostly just get on with life even though life is difficult. That is totally changed now, what we can see. Okay, Tun Kin, we'll have to leave it there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much.